John 14, 17. The Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, dear listener, you know him, for he dwells within you and will be in you. He is the gift of Almighty God that was poured about on all flesh. It is yours to receive. He is yours to guide and direct you. May you walk with the Spirit of Truth every day. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to you when you ask? This is Douglas Allen Frazier with Grace and Truth. I just shared the truths of God's Word. And may I pray this over you today. May the grace of God fill you with new understanding. May you seek after the wisdom of God that He might open understanding, discernment, In all that you do. In this day, Lord, I pray over each person listening to this word that you will cover them with your blood, the blood that flowed from the veins of Jesus, from his body upon the cross, that washed away, that covered all sin, that you see it no more. The sin is taken away as far as the east that's from the west. And let those that are listening, Not be troubled by Satan as he tries to dig in with things from the past that are all forgiven. They are all forgiven. So we say right now, dear Father, for all that are listening right now, if they have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the second baptism, May they call out to you as they hear my voice. Call out to you right now today and ask you to give them the Holy Spirit. For it says in Luke 11, 13, How much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? So Father... Let them receive this good gift from you that will change your life, their lives. He is their comforter. He is their guide and director, just as promised by Jesus. And may this day be a fresh revelation to them that if they will call out in your name, you will fulfill what they need. For the promise of God is set upon them, and the promises and words of God are yes and amen. So all those that are listening to this, this is your day to receive the grace and truth of God that will move you into new directions. Directions that you have been searching to go. Directions perhaps that have been blocked. But today, you will see a freshness. You will receive a revelation in the way you should go. And those things that have been standing in the way will be brought down as you pray and ask God to move the mountains that face you. You move the mountains by what you say and believe it in your faith and it shall be done. Enjoy the blessings of God upon you today.